Hi guys, it's Steel Jen here. Welcome back. And today we're going to talk a little bit about some of my future design ideas for cartomizers, atomizers, and e-liquid. Because I think we need to have a change. I already discussed on a previous video um, about changing the connectors altogether so that instead of a screw on design with a tiny piece of silicon uh, gasket in the middle that can easily short that we go with some kind of a connector idea where we actually have prongs separating positive and negative out. And so that you can't plug in low resistance atomizers or cartomizers into a mod that wasn't built for them. Low resistance atomizers or cartomizers might have three prongs, standard have two. If the mod's built to handle low res, it could plug in. If it's not, it can't. Okay. But that's not where I'm going with this one. Let's talk about which I talk about first. On e-liquid. Okay, so let's go with e-liquid. I would like to see e-liquid, somebody develop it. I'm no chemist. I would like to see e-liquid become a gel. Some kind of a gel or some kind of a solid so that there's no more getting e-liquids on our hands, on our mouths, on our shirts, on our clothes, on our everywhere. Uh, mopping it up with paper towels and stuff possibility of pets and kids getting into it, other people who don't know what it is, especially because a lot of e-liquid contains nicotine. So if we developed it into a gel that then melted with heat and fed the coil, we could have them in small capsule type things and not have e-liquid get everywhere. That's one thing I'd like for somebody out there to go, that's a good idea, and I think I could probably figure that out. I've tried Jello, it doesn't work. Anyway, so, e liquid, gel. Please make it gel or some kind of a solid. Okay, so atomizers and cartomizers. This is going to be a little tricky here. Here is what we have now. Now I'm going to draw this like a nice horizontal coil atomizer or cartomizer. I hope you can see it um, from where you are on this camera. We have filler material and we have a little coil and to make a blow up of that coil um, it looks like this. One side goes to positive, one side goes to negative and then it has a big piece of silica string in the middle of it. Silica. Silica string is what's used for the wick. Silica is a form of a derivative of fiberglass. So I made another video where I said, is our wicking safe? I don't know. I still don't know. I still use it. I don't feel any ill health effects, but that's anecdotal and that doesn't count. So. My idea is, let's get rid of silica wick. If we get e-liquid into a gel, we can get rid of wicking material. We can probably get rid of wicking material even if we don't get e-liquid a gel. But it'll just take a little more engineering. Okay, so here's a couple of ideas I had. And I'm not saying that these are great ideas. What I want to do is just spur everybody out there that watches this to start thinking and coming up with ideas. Okay, so why is silica so bad besides the fact that it's a derivative of fiberglass? Well, for one thing, when you are vaping and it gets cruddy and now you gotta throw the thing away, you gotta throw the cartomizer away, what's happened is the, um, here's the coil again with the piece of silica wicking inside and the e-liquid comes down here on it and especially, especially if it, if it goes dry or if you're using a very dark e-liquid, very highly flavored or very sweet, or a tobacco derivative e-liquid, it also will do this really bad, and it is going to crusty burn on here. Crusty burn, crusty burn. Kind of burns on the coil, the e-liquid kind of burns, crusts over the coil and the, and the silica wick, it's just a nasty mess. And, um, and so, and in some cases, it just makes a big, hard, black BB right there. So it traps the heat of the coil inside the black BB of messy, nasty, burnt junk. 
and then you can't vape it. It's not producing vapor anymore. All the heat's right in here. Sometimes it blows the coil out. It's just a nasty mess. So when that happens, yeah, you can look at all the different ways of washing cartomizers and atomizers. But basically, if you have a big nasty BB in there, I've gone out and picked them out with a dental pick and then put my cartomizers and atomizers in um, a jewelry cleaner with some um, alcohol or either drinking alcohol or rubbing alcohol or uh, propylene glycol and buzzed them overnight and washed them out. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I keep the coils wet and I use light colored e-liquids and it keeps them working a really long time. Or the other thing I've been doing lately is if I do get one with a BB, what I found is there's nothing wrong with the coil. It's because of the wick. And if I go in with my dental tool and I pull out the silica fiber and break off the nasty crud, what I end up with is a nice empty coil that's perfectly usable now. And I put another piece of silica string in and it works absolutely like new without having to buy a new one, no problems. This one has been refurbished by me several times and I got the silica wick from Clouds of Vapor. I think Clouds of Vapor. Clouds of Vapor has some great uh, vanilla cream. I love that stuff. Anyway, okay, so it's the wicking. If it didn't have the wicking in there, the whole crudding up and BB effect and burning on there wouldn't happen. You could just use whatever you wanted to to clean off a bare coil. So one of my ideas is to get rid of the silica is what if we had some sort of a ceramic, porous ceramic, or I think of ceramic because I think it's something that doesn't burn. What if the coil set on like a, a contact lens made of porous ceramic <laughs> and then it would be right here. And then the e-liquid oozed down into this little ceramic thing, keeping the coil wet and then, and you, yet yeah, you could pull air through it still through the holes and it would vape it. That's one idea. Another idea is we have coils because we have coils. Well, what if we had spirals? What if the nichrome or canthal wire was a spiral? Here comes positive, and here comes, here comes negative, here comes positive. Boom, there, how about that? And again, looking down from the top, what if that was sitting on a ceramic um, thing that looked like a contact lens with holes in it? and let the e-liquid seep down onto that platform and keep the coil wet. The whole idea behind vaping is you gotta keep the whole coil wet. The battery power gets this up to above, I think it's about 230 degrees Fahrenheit, 105-ish degrees centigrade, and, uh, and it vaporizes the liquid. That's what we're doing. So some way that we get rid of silica wick. Now I know some guys, and I've tried it too, <laughs> you've seen some of my other videos, uh, I've tried using stainless steel mesh and you tarnish the mesh, mesh by heating it over flame and you're using that tarnish to keep the coil from shorting onto the stainless steel mesh and use the stainless steel mesh for the wicking material. For me, it hasn't worked out well. I don't, it doesn't wick well for me. But then I'd have different people tell me I'm not winding the coil tight enough or I'm not making the mesh roll small enough. Anyway, I don't know. But anyway, I was just thinking yeah, if this, was, if this was sitting on a piece of ceramic with holes in it, then to clean it out, and especially if we had e-liquid as a gel, then all we'd have to do to clean this sucker out, we pull out the gel capsule and soak this in a vinegar for a few seconds and rinse it out really good. There's nothing in here that would keep the vinegar on it and we'd be done. We could reuse an atomizer or cartomizer many, 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 many times. Now I know a lot of guys that are using atomizers actually debridge them and pull the little silica wick out. But I think I already said that. <laughs> then they have to constantly keep dripping e-liquid onto this uh, empty coil to keep it wet. Anytime this coil does not have e-liquid on it, it puts off a nasty burny taste. That's it guys, that's all for me for this time changing cartomizers, atomizers, and e-liquid. Think about it. 
No, the whole reason why I'm making this series of videos is because I feel like if we don't want the government to come in and start putting regulations on us, if we want to do some things to help avoid the vape bans, then a good thing to do would be if we came up with some self-vaping regulation, some VVR, vaping voluntary regulation, <laughs> where we set our own standards within our vaping community and we demanded that from our vendors and manufacturers. So that's it from me. So for me, till next time, this is still Jan out. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Steel Jan.